Hello dear guests, I hope you've had a nice inspiring week around Halloween or All Souls Day or Sawain, whichever holiday or point in the year you celebrate. Um, this part of the year that I really love to call the dark season that includes autumn and winter is truly my favorite time of the year because I feel like I'm the closest to myself in this part of the year due to the nature of the things that I do in my life and the nature of things that I'm interested in which always kind of involve peeking into the other side, let's say. So in the in these uh, last clips that I've shown up to this point in the video, uh, I've showed you just some snippets of my life during this week. And after this talking part, I'm going to include a few more clips of the things I did on the All Souls Day, on the 1st of November, and I hope you're going to like them. Uh, for this video, I actually wanted to talk a bit about journaling. More specifically, I wanted to talk a bit about the way that I use my journal because journaling is a theme that is going to be pretty prominent on this channel so I would just kind of like to give you a sort of breakdown of the things that I do write in my journal and how I organize it, and etc. So, obviously, I am using a simple bullet journal notebook. Uh, this one is a notebook by the brand Notebook Therapy. They're very popular on Instagram, uh, where they share their notebook designs and uh, washi tapes and similar and their notebooks are very high quality at least in my experience and they are very very beautiful they have such amazing designs and I totally recommend them if you're into bullet journals uh, this one is from the Moonlit Spells collection and I'm so in love with these holographic details. It's just such a such a pretty book. It even has these holographic uh, ends of the uh, pages, which is just amazing to look at. The only downside I say would be that these um, fabric covers really really pick up dust and hair, pet hair and similar stuff so especially if you have a black one like this one it's very visible and it's kind of annoying but I also don't want to get like a cover for it because that would kind of beat the point of being able to see this texture and touch it and similar so yeah there's that um, so I've actually used a very simple bullet journal before this one and that one was not really high quality uh, it had terrible quality paper it bled through it ghosted every single pen I've tried using in that journal ended up being all over the place so I quit and decided to invest in a more quality bullet journal. Um, I 
did not want to like try some of those very popular journals such as uh, the Hobonichi ones I really really want to have like a very very clean slate when it comes to using notebooks um, I'm kind of frightened by structure uh, I don't like to have like certain spaces to write this and that in I do not like I do not like any rules when it comes to notebooks so I am really a big fan of bullet journals for that reason alone and up to this point I've been using that bad book before this one and the books before that one I uh, use them just as a sort of memory keeping and brain dumping processing thought processing uh, and similar so there wasn't really any structure or what whatever whatsoever and I know that I just said that I don't like structure that's true but still some structure such as uh, for example the structure the way that the Hobonichi Weeks uh, notebooks are structured uh, in a way that you have like uh, one column on one page uh, for the weeks I mean for the days in a week and then you have like a blank right side where you can put all the other things that you need such as uh, trackers, habit trackers uh, so I kind of wanted to combine that moment from the Hobonichi Weeks with the freestyle, free form, let's say, of the bullet journaling that I've done before. So that's what essentially happens with this book, and that's what I do. So yeah, these are just some very nice motifs that I wanted to include here such as the Judgment Tarot card oh and this, these two pages are my absolute favorite because here you can basically see the things that I'm very very inspired by magic and sculpture and the medieval times and Astronomy, Astrology um, This is something that I've done like a year or so ago uh, where I just wanted to include like a really short list of the things I love because as some of you know I have certain issues with my mental health that I sometimes find it a bit hard to really take that step to that that I love and this is just a sort of tiny aesthetic reminder of the things that inspire me and the things that are very cool to me the things that I research and etc. This is another such page where I just uh, kind of made a little list of the things that are good for me to do like and the things that I enjoy so I've listed like some things that bring me a state of deep calm uh, such as meditation, doing yoga similar, uh, the things that uh, bring me this feeling of coziness and etc. And this here is just a short index page because there's really not much in this journal. I really like to keep things very simple. So 
there's journal entries, there's ideas that I write down occasionally about pretty much anything and then this is the, the, the common placing dot this here was a autumn mood board uh, just because I did not want to simply jump into this notebook from that bad notebook before this one I wanted to make it like a sort of intro to autumn um, and I wanted to kind of put the emphasis on the stuff that I like doing in autumn so this is just a very simple mood board essentially and I've uh, written down some of the things that I really love about autumn and that I'm looking forward to and while, while I was writing this it was September if I'm not mistaken and yeah uh, just because I did not want to as I've said just jump into this book straight away and leave the other one before it just like that I wanted to include some of the things I did up to this point when I started writing in this book so I put some inspirational things that I found really photos from from Pinterest and I included some of my own photos like the my perfect and the first pumpkin spice latte I made for myself the first one of this season and these amazing pancakes in a local pancake house which was amazing and it also also mentioned how I uh, prioritized my rest due to a close member of my family passing away which I've talked about in the last video this was just an intro to October just a simple kind of a template and some seasonal stickers really like these all of them and at this moment I started to experiment with the Obonichi Weeks layout so what I did was just list all the seven days in a week and obviously Sunday could not fit in here um, so I moved it to the right side and up here I just wanted to include some things that if I had a Hobonichi Weeks I would write on the right side such as the things that I want to do like as much as possible in a week things that are very important for my mental, physical and spiritual health and then under the washi tape are the things that I um, it's just a, like a big to-do list for the week uh, those are the things that uh, I can and also don't really have to let's say do that week but still um, would be preferable for me to do them uh, to not leave them for the other week but I'm not putting that pressure on myself I'm like I'm always going to list uh, I'm always going to be listing stuff uh, I'd like to do and have to do in that week but if I don't do them if there are no specific consequences to it like if it's not a uh, let's say a deadline of in college or something um, I would just uh, list it again the next week no matter if I did it or not and this part here uh, under that one uh, is something that I wanted to like keep uh, for specific appointments in the week but I did not do it very creatively it was just a failure and I kind of wanted to like make empty circles and uh, for each one and then to 
uh, write uh, the date and the hour of the appointment and when it is done I just fill in the circle but it was kind of pointless I don't know just when I look at this I do not really see it if that makes sense I just kind of skim through it and I could easily forget my appointments this way so that was out of the question for the future and then here there is a pretty large space for the things that I'm watching the things that I watched that week and the things I read and I really wanted to have like a bigger space for this because I consume a lot of media, I consume a lot of books and stuff uh, and I would like to have the space empty as empty as possible and I also like to keep it like this uh, so I can include some little stickers just to kind of set in the vibe for these things so that I can like the second that I flip through my journal I can uh, see by the pictures uh, the things that I've seen and some memories will come up for me and I think that's that's very nice then I changed this a bit um, I just made these uh, daily entries these spaces for the daily entries a bit bigger just so I could fit in these bigger stickers and so I have some more space to write in uh, so there was some space left in here yeah I wanted to keep this space since these uh, spaces were a bit bigger decided to uh, leave this space for the watching reading section which looked kind of aesthetic but at the same time I don't know <laughs> I just didn't keep up with it you'll see and uh, the last three days of the week I included on this right side and I also included the weather stamps which was a very nice detail I used to track the weather like this when I was a little kid as I was obsessed with weather <laughs> so this is just um, also something that reminds me of my childhood uh, and on this lower part of the right side there's the uh, tracker the same one that I wrote in the week before so the things that I would like to let's say make a habit the things that should be done throughout the week if I can and uh, I wanted to deal with appointments this way so that I list my appointments like fixed things throughout the week under uh, these two sections and uh, I simply mark the day that th these things should be done on with a little cube and if they when I do them I just put an X as if it's done and if they are postponed or something like that uh, I just put a little arrow so this coffee that I had with a friend had to be moved to Saturday and then it was moved again because of some things and it got moved into another week so there we have that uh, so this still was not like the thing that I want and now we are back <laughs> at the almost same thing but this is a bit updated and so far it's working so again I use this chance to like write the dates of this week and put a washi tape under it I love washi tapes so this was a nice like a chance to do that um, I made uh, these spaces for the days of the week smaller again so kind of more like the Hobonichi uh, 
and the same thing like I am just writing the days and kind of um, listing the things that I did that day and uh, stuff I felt and similar and I'm including lots of stickers as well which is very cool for me and right under the weekly section uh, I just decided to include this tracker uh, these are in my native tongue so Monday to Sunday and there's also a little chance to use a washi tape this is just one of my favorites also from notebook therapy and the Moonlit Spells collection I love it so much and under it uh, is this uh, habit tracker uh, of the of the week and then the section that deals with the things that should be done throughout the week and uh, the watching reading section which was not really that full this week but it still did include a couple of things and I've also seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie uh, this week, so uh, since I did not write any like specific fixed appointments under uh, this watching reading section, I decided to stick in the cinema ticket for FNAF, and I really loved the movie. It was so amazing. I liked the way how they just kind of focused on the emotions and the vibe, the atmosphere of these games instead of like the horror and gore aspect uh, so that is something that I really really appreciate and I love how there uh, was this focus on the little kids and their souls and I think that was just amazing, an amazing choice by the creative team behind the FNAF movie so I definitely do recommend it and this is the current week going well so far it was obviously the hello week so I included some Halloween stickers and this is the same as before so that's it this section here actually is something that I have left blank just because um, maybe uh, sometimes there would be a need for me to like put some little notes about, some, about something or include like uh, some sort of sticker receipt or something so I think it's pretty good to have like still a bit of this empty space and here if those important fixed appointments do show up I don't think they will, it's just the weekend, but okay. If they do show up, I can still include them on the list, so I think it's very, very nice. This is just what I wanted to do with the journal, actually. It did take me a while to get to this point where I'm, like, including the structure in an empty bullet journal in a way that suits me, yet also kind of allowing for complete freedom which is honestly kind of funny to say, like, I mean, why didn't you do that before? <laughs> but I just, I don't know, I did not think of it. And seeing many amazing people on here on YouTube and in other places who do uh, videos on journaling really inspired me to be more creative and open to, you know, whatever, whatever my needs are at some point and that it's okay to change things and that it's okay to not be bound by any type of format whether that that's like a completely blank space, a blank format or a format of let's say the Hobonichi weeks or something I think uh, the most important thing is to write in the journal in the way that suits you the best and that's all um, yeah so essentially that that's that for these uh, kind of weekly spreads but other than the weekly spreads I also include the sort of freestyle spreads uh, that are just 
just some daily journaling and brain dumps if I want to do them. Uh, I do tend to write out uh, my emotions a lot, so that's something that's really handy for me and uh, that is the part of my journaling process that I really, really don't want any kind of um, structure or form to sort of you know, close, close me in, so to say. Uh, because I really, really uh, like that freedom. Yeah, so this is just a journaling entry from this Tuesday where I just wrote about the things that I felt that day. A lot of the things happened and some of the wounds of mine resurfaced, let's just say like that. So I wanted to get all of that out and see if I can find something in that that would help me understand the process that happened to me better. This is also another such page. These are just parts of some Halloween candy that I bought and these were a part of a Nightmare Before Christmas jewelry set that I found. There's also some affirmations for myself in here that is something that's very helpful to me to write out my thoughts and after that, after I write down my thoughts, kind of write some affirmations, some, some of the things that I have learned, some of the things that would help me counter those thoughts and it's been a great practice so far. Some of the things that I also do in my journal are these commonplace, let's say, uh, entries where I review things that are important to me, such as scents. I love scents of all kinds, I really do, and these are uh, reviews of the two wax melts that I've tried from a local small business and I really love how this came out. This one was more had more of that moonlight-ish kind of oriental feminine vibe so this is the kind of mood board that I've created for it and this one had more of an apple and honey-ish mysterious, interesting seasonal vibe, let's say. It was in the shape of uh, the Frankenstein monster's head and it was so so good, so interesting, so creative. So I had to write about that. Um, yeah, so essentially that's it. I just wanted to... I just wanted to show you around my journal a bit and the way I use it. Um, there's definitely going to be more videos about my journaling process, so if that's something that you're interested in, I'd like you to stay and subscribe to my channel. If not, that's of course also completely okay. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.